Como esta todos? Me llamo Blanco and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for stage number 11 of our Vuelta playthrough with Ineos Grenadiers. A stage today that will take us from Villa Viciosa to the Alto de la Farapona. 167 kilometers today for a mountain stage with a lot of KOMs to be taken. We have three first cats, um, not including the finish uh, at the Farapona, and a third. So we'll definitely send Ivan Souza in the breakaway to try and maintain uh, our um, our polka jersey. But also we'll try and fight for Christopher Froome's hopes of the GC. He lost the red jersey a few days ago. Um, but today is redemption time. Today is the day where Chris Froome wears again that red, red jersey. All right. Uh, it's a very good day for Chris, actually. Plus three. Uh, it's a good day for all our climbers. Plus two for Amador as well, plus one for Carapaz, plus two for uh, the man that shall go in the breakaway in a few seconds as soon as he's able to navigate through the peloton because uh, it, it appears to be a very tough task for Ivan Souza. Uh, the man is much better when it comes to climbing that he comes through uh, swerving through uh, a 166 rider peloton. Where we do have some attacks. Michael Woods, yesterday's winner, is in the breakaway. Uh, he's going to be joined by Nico Schultz, Ivan Souza, Nick Dlamini. Kenny Lissonde, who withdrew from the Vuelta in real life, which is quite sad. Yet yeah, Sebol, uh, Immanuel Arviti, who won't last long in the breakaway. Axel Dumont, Angel Madrazo, uh, and the, the Peloton is already chasing them down. Mental. Alright, I'm gonna let um, Michael Woods take three points. Uh, I'll take two points at the uh, next climb. Amador can stop pacing. I'm guessing. Uh... Wow, Carol and Sun have sent no one, so why have they been pacing like decades? We're in the Alto de la Coyadona. Uh, Andrel Madrazo is leading the group. Uh, Ivan Souza already readying himself up to uh, go for the 10 points available at the climb. And Nick Dlamini has started the attack with 2.5k to go. It's a bit presumptuous, Nick. I'm sorry. Like, you're, you're moving a, a bit mad. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm not even losing any kind of energy. We're going to now follow Michael Woods. As uh, he follows Man um, Emmanuel Elviti, that should be a bit of a, of a tougher move for uh, for Ivan to try and counter as the Canadian. There we there goes Ivan Souza. We should have the legs on uh, on Michael Woods. He has a better acceleration, better hills. I've got by far the better mountain. The question is, can we hold on? Uh, I'm not swerving, and no, we cannot hold on. Actually, Michael Woods gets ten, and I get eight. No, I get six. That's quite quite sad here. Three kilometers left in the Alto de la Cobertoria. Uh, only five riders in the first group as Nico Schulz just exploded. Axel Demont, Hervé and Nick Dlamini did so a few kilometers ago. Kenny Elisson has already made his move. That's fucking early, fam. Kenny made. There's 2.5k to go. Allow it. Allow it. Uh, I was following Getzebol. Getzebol died. Kenny Elisson uh, is going to try and counter-attack Michael Woods. But Michael Woods will go for the points. Okay, I I do need to come back on uh on um on Michael Woods though. I I I need to do that ASAP. Well, actually, actually everyone came back. Madrazo is gonna get the points. <laughs> What's that? Okay, I, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming at all. Uh, that's third place for me. That's only four points there. Uh, in the meantime, Chris is still doing fine. Uh, also, oh, Andre, 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 Andre. I need you to be uh, at the front here. Alright, Chris is blocked because Rory Sutherland killed him. And I've been blocked by, by since. Fam, can you lot stop blocking me? Ben Dibble, Rob Power, all of you, can you fuck off? Chris genuinely got, like, lost a minute purely by positioning. Come on. I'm wasting precious energy here. I'm wasting... Genuinely energy that I could use later on. So Isaac Gary decided to counter attack with Dan Martin. Uh, Mike Woods is going to die quite soon. I, I genuinely cannot believe this. I lost so much energy. Uh, you know what, mate? I'd, I'd, I'm not the one looking for Henrik Mass. If you don't want to follow him, you can follow him. I don't care. Um, Ivan Souza will try and come back on uh, Isaac Gerrit, but then Dan Martin. I don't think that's going to work. We've destroyed Simon Geschke, which is quite uh, stupendous. No, I want Roglic to make the efforts. I want Roglic to be the one like losing the energy. And Souza got the points, which is nice. 
Right, Amador ain't far off. Uh, I'd love to come back. Well, see if I can uh, try to follow Michael Woods uh, as he's the one trying to come back in the first group. Yes, he can. Thank you very much. Uh, Amador could prove to be very useful later on. Um, I mean, we've got 20k to go. The more the merrier. George Bennett will take the lead of the group. Perfect. And Thibaut Pinot attacks really far off. 14 kilometers from the end in the Alto de la Farabona, still in uh, the green portion of the climb. That's very odd. What Pulse is already done. The sixth of the GC is dropped already. Wow. That's really early. Tenth place, Dan Martinez is gone as well. So is Alejandro Valverde. Okay. We've lost quite a few riders. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, the main action though. Carapaz, please do not get dropped. Um, all right, this is typical of like the break usually. All right, Chris is going to make it. Nice. Uh, I'm going to need Amador, um, Carapaz, sorry, to protect Chris Froome. Is it still Thibaut? It is still Thibaut. It is still Thibaut. Enric Mars does not want to make the effort. Uh, and I won't do that either. I'm not the leader of the GC. It's not my job. Roglic is not very smart here. Roglic is not chasing Thibaut. But he's the one pacing. Mm -hmm. Weird. Weird. Uh, but we're going to be in the toughest... Uh, oh shit. We've made, I've made a gap. Hold up. Uh, we're going to enter the tough slopes now of this climb. Mate, Roglic, if you ever want to do something, it's now. Uh, we've increased the tempo with Chris Freeman, Carapaz. Just a tad, not to like destroy ourselves. I mean, the fact that someone like Andrel Madrazo or Simon Geschke are still here definitely show that the rhythm isn't very high. Aran Buru just dropped. Tom Zumul and Sepkus. Roglic is now on his own. Chris still has Richard Carapaz. Richard Carapaz with a very good day here. With a very, very, very good day right now. Nine riders in the peloton. Formolo just dropped. Is that he's fourth? He was fourth of the GC Formolo. He was being threatened. Um, well, he had lost actually his podium uh, on the last month stage to uh, Thibaut Pinot. He's now going to be threatened by Guillaume Martin, the Frenchman of Cofidis, in a decent position right now, just behind Christopher Froome. Vlasov looking uh, a bit weak. Vlasov just drops a few meters. We're going to increase the rhythm. With Chris Froome and Richard Carapaz. Uh, two guys got dropped. Izagiri. Izagiri waiting for a Vlasov most likely. Alright. 1k to go. The summit is a bit flatter. Uh, so we'll try and increase the rhythm once again with Christopher Froome. 600 meters to go. Oh Thibaut. Oh Thibaut. Thibaut can't follow. Thibaut cannot follow anymore. Thibaut made the gap. Thibaut made the gap. And that will allow Christopher Froome to take the win at the Alto de la Farapona ahead of Richard Carapaz, Enric Mas, and Primus Roglic cracked. Primus Roglic cracked today. The man is not unbeatable. Pino will come in fifth position with Guillaume Martin in sixth place, Dan Martin, Yoni Zagere, um, Alessandro Vlasov, and Seven Geschke to complete today's top 10. But it's a 1 2 for the Grenadiers, and it's yet another win for Christopher Froome today, who gets closer and closer to that red jersey. And uh, if the maths are correct, I believe we reclaimed the lead for uh, what appears to be 4 seconds. Yep. Yeah, we take the lead for 4 seconds of our previous wrong glitch after this Antonio Farapona. What a stage. What a stage. Uh, I think we could have gotten a bit more. We could have extracted a bit more seconds. Maybe like 5-6 seconds more. Um, but it's safe to say wrong glitch is not the strongest on this race. If he's got no teammates, as we've seen uh, later on in that climb, he's dead. Um, Thibaut, I mean, Thibaut comes in fifth place, but technically he's my winner today. He's the big guy, because he destroyed both Tom Dumoulin, Sepkus, and George Bennett. And he forced Primoz Roglic to try and pace. And sure, the rhythm Primoz put wasn't massively high. I mean, it, it was like 55, well, no, it was a bit more, like maybe 65. But because of that, it used some of his energy. And Chris was able to capitalize on that. Chris with a very, very massive Richard Carapaz as well. Um, I, I mean, I can't back Chris's performance without talking about Carapaz. Unreal, unreal work today from uh, the uh, Ecuadorian. And he comes in second place as well to, uh, to, to gratify his work. Chris, nevertheless, taking the lead.
uh, both of the stage and of the GC after the stage 11, meaning that points-wise he is now uh, still in the lead, 50 points ahead of Primus Roglic. He's going to make a slight uh, comeback on Ivan Souza. Uh, actually, he doesn't because Souza got more points today. 81 points for the Colombian. I think he's somewhat safe. Bastian Guada is now in Rick Mas. Enric Mas claims the uh, white jersey, the white jersey that was previously Alexander Vlasov's for, uh, well, 10 stages now. All right, we've got our first, uh, we've had two changes of GC today, or of uh, jerseys. And that could continue tomorrow, because tomorrow's stage between Pola de la Viana and the Alto de l'Angliru is not one for the faint-hearted. It is 112 kilometers on paper, doesn't look massive, but you have the Alto de l'Angliru, one of the most toughest climbs in Spain, maybe in Europe. And uh, Chris will need a good, good day because he could basically lose the Vuelta there. I hope I'll see you, though, for that stage 12 on the Angli route. To make sure to do so, then please, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. That would mean a lot to me. And I shall catch you in the very near future. But my name has been Laco. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Enjoy your day. Enjoy La Vuelta. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't wanna go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster.